Sulfonation of benzene is the process by which a benzene molecule is used to form benzene sulfonic acid. Now, this reaction takes place without actually breaking the aromatic character of the benzene molecule. So, in this lecture, we're going to discuss the reaction mechanism of sulfonation of benzene. So, let's suppose we take a benzene and we place it into a mixture of sulfur trioxide mixed in with sulfuric acid. So what exactly is the reaction mechanism by which we form the final product, our benzene sulfonic acid? So there are three important steps in this reaction. So basically in the first step, we have to form our electrophile. We have to form the molecule that will bind to the benzene ring, momentarily destroying the aromatic character of that benzene ring. So in the first step, the electrophile is formed from our two reactants, the sulfur trioxide and the sulfuric acid. So basically, one of the pi electrons, one of the pi bonds between our sulfur and oxygen grabs an H atom off of one of these oxygen as shown from sulfuric acid and we form the following electrophile. We also form this conjugate base to this acid and this conjugate base will become important in the last step of this process. So now that we have formed our electrophile, this electrophile basically has a positive charge on the sulfur. It has an empty orbital that can now interact with one of the pi bonds with one of the pair of electrons in the pi bonds of the benzene ring. So if this pi bond on the benzene ring forms a bond between this carbon and this sulfur, we form the following resonant stabilized intermediate in which momentarily the aromatic character of that benzene ring has been lost. So basically we have three resonance stabilized structures in this diagram and only two are drawn for simplicity purposes. So this process, this step will take place because this is in fact resonance stabilized. Now in the final step, we want to somehow reform our ring, our aromatic ring. And the way we're going to do this is basically a base will take off an H atom found on this carbon here. So what base do we have in our mixture? So basically we formed this conjugate base in the first step and this conjugate base will use its lone pair of electrons on the oxygen to grab this H atom creating a pi bond between these two carbons. So these two electrons will now form a pi bond between this carbon and this carbon reforming our aromatic ring, reforming this aromatic aromatic benzene. And notice this is the benzene sulfonic acid that we wanted to form in the first place. So we also form this acid that we began in the first place. So these are the three steps by which we can actually place our sulfur on to our benzene ring to form the benzene sulfonic acid without actually destroying that aromatic character of the benzene ring. Now, this is not the only way to actually form our benzene sulfonic acid. So sulfonation of benzene can also occur by mixing benzene into an aprotic solution that contains simply SO3, sulfur trioxide. So let's take a look at the reaction mechanism for this particular reaction. So basically we begin with the same exact step. So basically we have our benzene molecule and the benzene molecule will use its lone pair of electrons or actually the pair of electrons in one of the pi bonds to grab this sulfur kicking off one of these pi bonds forming a negative charge on our oxygen. So basically, not only do we form a positive charge on the carbon, we also form a negative charge on 
our oxygen, which basically did not exist in this particular case here. We did not have a negative charge on our oxygen. So once again, as in this case, we have three resonance stabilized structures. Now in the second step of this particular reaction mechanism, we somehow want to deprotonate our hydrogen atom found attached to this carbon position. So how exactly can we deprotonate this H? Well, basically an intramolecular deprotonation reaction can take place. So because this oxygen has a negative sign, it has a lone pair of electrons, it can basically grab, when it approaches this H atom, it can grab it, forming this final product, reforming the aromatic ring. So basically this uh, pair of electrons can form a pi bond between these two carbons, reforming or forming the benzene sulfonic acid and reforming our aromatic benzene molecule. So in this particular reaction, in the first step, sulfur trioxide acts as our electrophile. In the second step, there is an intramolecular, an internal reaction in which benzene is deprotonated and the H atom is attached onto this oxygen. So basically, sulfonation of benzene is the process by which benzene sulfonic acid is formed from benzene without actually destroying the aromatic character of the benzene. And as we saw in this particular case, there are two types of reactions that can take place. If we mix benzene with these two reactants, this reaction pathway is followed. However, if we place benzene into an aprotic solution that only contains sulfur trioxide, this two-step mechanism will take place. But in both reactions, the same benzene sulfonic acid is formed that contains this fully conjugated benzene ring that is in fact aromatic.